praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Buana asipiwe. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It is a fine morning. Hallelujah. Amen. But a bit cold. Hallelujah. Amen. Now we usually believe that whenever it is cold, people usually get inactive. Hallelujah. It is believed. Hallelujah. That when it is cold, people get inactive. Praise the name of Jesus. Is that true? Is that true? Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, I have come to understand that the world we live in is about two things. Hallelujah. It is about the true. It is about that which is not true, meaning that which is a lie. Hallelujah. Amen. So it is a battle between two. It is a battle between the truth and the lie. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So once you dwell in the truth, you are in the right path. And once you dwell in the lie, you are in the wrong path. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's actually what salvation is all about. The Bible says, hallelujah, that God is truth. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. He is that truth itself. Hallelujah. Amen. He is that truth itself. Meaning, once you are in Him, then it is obvious that you are going to the right place. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, today I want to speak to us about hope. Hallelujah. Amen. Say hope. Hope. So, what, what is hope to us? What is hope to you? Whenever you hear that word hope, what comes to mind? Or what comes into your mind whenever you hear of that word, hope? Hallelujah. Amen. People say, I hope it goes on well. Hallelujah. Amen. They hope. That is called hope. Hallelujah. But something that is amazing is that there is a worldly hope and there is godly hope. Hallelujah. Amen. There is hope according to the world and there is hope according to the world. Hallelujah. Amen. There is hope according to the world and there is hope according to the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. So which one will you, on which side will you be? Will you be on the hope which is in the world or will you be in the hope which is in the world? Hallelujah. Amen. So by definition, hope is an expectation. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what it says, I hope it goes on well. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. I hope it goes on well. Why? Because it is an expectation. That is what they expect. Hallelujah. Amen. So whatsoever you expect becomes your hope. Praise the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Now another definition of hope is the end of something. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. The end of something. Hallelujah. So if your end is going to be good, it means there is hope. Hallelujah. Amen. It means your hope is good. Your hope is promising. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. And if your hope or your end is going to end badly, then it means you have a very sad hope. Hallelujah. Amen. So today, I want us to ask ourselves, what is your hope? What do you expect? Hallelujah. You, it is true you got saved, but why were you saved? Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Why were you saved? It means there was something that God expects from you. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. What is God expecting from you as a child of God? I want you to ask yourself that question. What does God expect from his own children? Hallelujah. Amen. So what is the hope of salvation? So the hope of salvation is that which God expects from each and every person who confesses Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. There is something that God expects from you. Hallelujah. So that, that is what I call the hope of salvation. So there are many types of hope. Praise the name of Jesus. There are many types of hope. And one of them, I told you, is the hope of the world. Hallelujah. What the world expects. Hallelujah. I told you there is another hope, the hope of the word. 
Praise the name of Jesus Christ. And in the hope of the world, which I want to dwell in, is one of it is the hope of salvation. Now this is what God expects from every child of God. Praise the name of Jesus. If you do not understand the hope of your calling, you cannot operate well or you cannot be effective. Hallelujah. Your effectiveness as a child of God depends on your understanding of what God expects from you. Praise the name of Jesus. If you do not know what the examiner expects from any examinee, praise the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. be sure you are going to fail the exam. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. That's why you must understand why God called you. So the first thing that you should understand or that you should ask yourself is why did God call you? Because as I know, as I understand, you cannot call somebody if you do not have something to tell them. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. That is exactly what happens in salvation. The Bible says that it is a calling. Salvation is a calling. And in every calling, there must be a hope. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord that we serve called us. Hallelujah. So once you understand where he called you, to where he wants you to be, to where he wants to take you, then where he wants to take you is called the hope. Praise the name of Jesus. Is your hope. Praise the name of Jesus. We understand that God took us from the world. Hallelujah. He took us from the world. Hallelujah. Where to? To the world. Hallelujah. So the word of God is our hope. Praise the name of Jesus. The word of God is our hope. God called you into his word. Praise the name of Jesus. The Bible says that he has called us. He has translated us from the kingdom of darkness even unto the kingdom of his dear son. Hallelujah. Now which is this kingdom? Hallelujah. The kingdom is the word of God. Anyone who is in the word of God is in the hope. Hallelujah. The hope in which God called him or her. Hallelujah. So once you are in the word, you are where God expects you to be. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. If you are in the word, you are in that hope which God called and expects you to be. So the expectation of God is that you be in his word. Now the question comes here, that why does God want you to be in the word? The word of God is the kingdom of God. Praise the name of Jesus. Outside the word of God, you are outside the kingdom of God. If you are not in the word of God, you cannot enjoy the benefits of the kingdom. Outside the word of God, you cannot enjoy the protection of God. Outside the word of God, you cannot enjoy his peace. Praise the name of Jesus. So God wants you to be at peace. Praise the name of Jesus. And the peace that he is talking about is only in his word. Hallelujah. So the word of God is your hope. Hallelujah. So the word of God is your hope. And another thing that I want us to understand about hope is that hope is that which God called you to do. Hallelujah. Apart from being the place where God wants you to be, it is what God wants you to do. That is called hope. Praise the name of Jesus. Now the question comes here that what did God call you to do? What is your calling? What did God call you to do as a child of God? Hallelujah. The Bible says that when he ascended, hallelujah, that's Ephesians 4, it says that when he ascended on high, praise the name of Jesus, he gave some apostles, he gave some prophets, he gave some pastors, he gave some teachers and evangelists, hallelujah, for the perfecting of the saints. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. So it means what God called you to do is the hope of God's calling. Hallelujah. So do you know why God called you? Do you know your gifting? Do you know your gifting? Hallelujah. If you do not know your gifting, then you do not understand the hope of your calling. Praise the name of Jesus. Now let us go to Ephesians 1 and verse 17. Praise the name of Jesus. This is what the Apostle Paul tells his listeners. 
Ephesians 1, verse 17. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Now the Bible says, Ephesians 1 and 17 says, That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know praise the name of jesus Amen. what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints praise the name of jesus now what do we understand from that the first thing that i understand from that very scripture is that you cannot come to a place of hope you cannot understand why god called you if you do not have the spirit of understanding hallelujah Amen. so the bible says this is this is a prayer mind you this is a prayer verse 16 says i cease not to give thanks for you making mention of you in my prayers hallelujah so one thing that you must understand as a child of god that you cannot walk in the hope of your calling if you are not in the place of prayer. Praise the name of Jesus. So hope comes. Hallelujah. You are going to understand the hope of your calling only when you are in the place of prayer. Praise the name of Jesus. So prayer must be part and parcel of you as a child of God for you to walk in the hope of which God called you in. Hallelujah. For you to do what God called you to do, you must be in the place of prayer. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. That is what Paul prays for these Ephesians. Praise the name of Jesus. Now the second thing that we must understand, hallelujah, that in verse 18 says, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now we do understand that our understanding has eyes. There are eyes called the eyes of understanding. We do have physical eyes. We do have eyes of the mind. We do have eyes of understanding. Your inner person has eyes. Now, for you to come to this place, which I call hope of your calling, then the eyes of your understanding has to be open. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Because when the eyes of your understanding are open, then the light of God can come in. Now the eyes of your understanding look like a window. Praise the name of Jesus. So once the window is open, hallelujah, then the light can come in. Praise the name of Jesus. And once the light has come in, you're going to understand or you're going to see what is in the house. Praise the name of Jesus. Now the house that I'm talking about is your heart. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. So you cannot come to the place of the hope of your calling if your eyes are closed hallelujah if you are ignorant hallelujah so it takes knowledge that's why paul says that the, the father of our lord jesus may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him praise the name of jesus christ in the knowledge of him so without the knowledge of god then you cannot walk in the hope of your calling so forget hope if you do not have the spirit of knowledge. So what does that mean? It means you must always pursue to know. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Pursue knowledge. Praise the name of Jesus. Now when I talk about knowledge, I'm talking about, I'm not talking about going to school. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. I'm talking about spiritual knowledge. Spiritual knowledge only comes from the spirit of knowledge. Praise the name of Jesus. Whenever you are in a place of ignorance, hallelujah, you cannot walk in the hope of your calling. You cannot walk in hope, the hope that God wants you to walk in. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. So you must come, you must yearn to come out of ignorance. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. We must yearn to come out of ignorance if you want to walk in the hope of your calling. Praise the name of Jesus. He says, and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. So as I say, so when the window is open, then you can see what is inside the house. And what is inside the house is the glory or the riches. Hallelujah. The riches of the glory. So whenever you are in the place of hope,
So hope is that gateway to the riches of God. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. So as I said that hope is an expectation. You cannot receive from God if you do not pass through the gate of hope. Praise the name of Jesus. You cannot receive what you don't expect. That is what I mean. Praise the name of Jesus. You must have an expectation for you to receive something. For the blessings of God, for the riches of God to manifest in your life, there must be an expectation. Praise the name of Jesus. What you expect from God, just as I've said that God expects something from you, you must also expect something from God so you can come into the same level where you can receive the things of God. So hope is very important for a child of God. Praise the name of Jesus. You must always be in expectation. Hallelujah. Expectation is the mother of manifestations. Hallelujah. So you might, you might wonder or you might ask, why isn't the things of God manifesting in my life? It is because you have not come to the place of hope. And why haven't you come to the place of hope? It is because the eyes of your understanding have not been opened. And why is the eyes of your understanding not being opened? It is because you are not in the place of prayer. Hallelujah. You are not in the place of prayer. Now, why is it a must that we should be in the place of prayer? Why do we always see or why do we always hear this thing called prayer, prayer, prayer always? Hallelujah. This is what I came to understand. That everything that Jesus Christ died for. Hallelujah. Everything that Jesus Christ died for is made available through prayer. Hallelujah. Is effected through prayer. Hallelujah. So if you are not in that place, you cannot receive what Christ died for. It is true that Jesus Christ died. Hallelujah. He died for your salvation. Now, is it automatic that everyone that Jesus Christ died for will receive salvation? Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Is it automatic? Now I'm asking us, is it automatic that Jesus Christ died, everybody will be saved? It is not traumatic. It means we have to position ourselves. Hallelujah. So for you to access, hallelujah, through hope, then you must position yourself. And prayer is what positions us. Hallelujah. To receive all that Jesus Christ died for. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. When he said it is finished, hallelujah, it means it is available, hallelujah, for you. That is why Jesus Christ told the apostles, he told his disciples, stay in Jerusalem, hallelujah, stay in Jerusalem until the promise of the Father comes to you, praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Already Jesus Christ had died, but they had to stay in the upper room, hallelujah. They had to stay in the place of prayer, hallelujah. That is only, that was the only way that they could receive the promise, praise the name of Jesus Christ. So we can see that hope is very important for the child of God. Hope is very important. It is the doorway in which we receive the things of God. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, why are people hopeless? Now, we are talking about hope today. Praise the name of Jesus. Why are people in the state of hopelessness? Why are people walking with their heads hanging? Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. With their heads bowed down. It is because they are not in the place of hope. They are not hopeful. They are not in the place of expectation. Why is that so? Now, another thing that you have to understand is that for you to be in the place of hope, it depends with your focus. Hallelujah. What are you looking at? Hallelujah. What are you looking at? Now, many of the people that I'm saying or that I'm talking about, they are focusing on what is happening around them. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Beloved, I tell you, if you want to be in the place of hope, you have to stop looking at what is happening around you. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Hebrews 11 that faith, praise the name of Jesus, faith is a substance, praise the name of Jesus, of things hoped for, praise the name of Jesus Christ, with the evidence not seen. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. So we can see that hope is you focusing on the unseen. Praise the name of Jesus. So once you focus, you put your mind, you put your focus on the unseen, then you're going to be in the place of hope. If you look around the world, there is calamity, there is trouble, there is sickness. 
Praise the name of Jesus. There is famine. There is earthquakes all around. Everything around you is chaos. Hallelujah. So if you keep your focus on these things, on what is happening in the world, on what is happening in your life, what is happening in your family, what is happening around you, I tell you you're going to be in the place of hopelessness. And once you be in the place of hopelessness, you close the door to what God wants to receive or what God wants to give to you. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. So we must learn where to focus. Hallelujah. We must focus on the unseen. Hallelujah. Now what is those the unseen that I'm talking about? It is the promises of God. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Now let us go to the book of Jeremiah 29:11. A very common scripture, but very powerful. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Jeremiah 29 and verse 11. Jeremiah 29, 11. I'm going to read to 12. The Bible says, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace, hallelujah, and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Praise the name of Jesus. As you began, I said that hope is an expectation. Praise the name of Jesus. It is the end of something. So we can see that this is what God plans for you. Hallelujah. He says that he has thoughts of peace and not of evil. Hallelujah. To give you an expected end. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Verse 12 says, Then shall you call upon me. Hallelujah. And you shall go and pray unto me. And I will hearken unto you. And you shall seek me and find me. When you shall search for me with all your heart. Praise the name of Jesus. Now for you to be in the place of hope, hallelujah, you must mind your thoughts. You must guard your heart. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. An unguarded heart is a hopeless heart. Praise the name of Jesus. He says thoughts of peace and not of evil. Now Paul puts it this way. He says whatsoever is lovely, whatsoever is of a good report, Think on these things. Hallelujah. So you cannot tell me you are thinking of things that are negative and then be hopeful. Praise the name of Jesus. You cannot be thinking of evil and then be hopeful at the same time. So here comes this word, meditating upon the word of God. You must meditate upon the promises of God. Hallelujah. Now when I'm talking about the promises of God, you must know those promises. Hallelujah. So without you knowing what God has promised you, now there are biblical promises and there are personal promises. These are the promises that God gave you specifically. These are the promises that only concern you. Praise the name of Jesus. Maybe God has told you that he's going to give you a child. Maybe God has told you that he's going to elevate you soon. Hallelujah. That is a promise. So once you stay in that place, once you stay your mind or you focus your mind, Upon those promises, you're going to be in the place of hope. And once you be in the place of hope, you are attracting what comes or what God brought or what purposes or thoughts for your life. Praise the name of Jesus. It is positioning yourself. Hallelujah. Whenever you be in the place of hope, you position yourself to receive from God. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. He says, then you shall seek me. Praise the name of So we can see that hope opens a door for a hunger for God. Praise the name of Jesus. Anyone who is in the place of hope will hunger for God. That is what verse 12 says. Then, hallelujah, it means there is something that comes before. It means when you know those thoughts that God has for you, hallelujah, they, will, they are going to bath out or they are going to bath some hope in you. Praise the name of Jesus. And when hope is bathed in you, when hope bubbles in you, I tell you, you shall seek the Lord. The Bible says, then you shall call upon me. Hallelujah. So we can see that hope, hallelujah, opens you up for prayer. Hallelujah. It opens you up for prayer. It gives you access. Prayer gives you access to hope. Hallelujah. And hope also takes you deeper into prayers. Now these are called seeking prayers. It says, you shall seek me and then find me. Hallelujah. That is an assurance. 
Hallelujah. When you seek God in hope, Hallelujah, touching on the promises that God has given unto you, I tell you, the Bible says that you're going to find Him. Hallelujah. So you must guard your heart. Your heart must be guarded. Your heart must be full of the promises of God. Now saturate your heart. Saturate your mind with the promises of God. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. You must know those promises. You must declare those promises. That's why God took Abraham. Hallelujah. He took him outside and told him, look up. Hallelujah. What was God doing? He was building up hope in Abraham. Praise the name of Jesus. Despite the things that were happening around him, despite the deadness of his body, the Bible says that he glorified God. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Now, that is another thing that hope brings from you, that hope births in you. It will birth glory to God. It will birth praises unto God. Praise the name of Jesus. The Bible says that he did not mind or he did not consider the deadness of his body, nor the deadness of Sarah's womb. Hallelujah. But the Bible says that he glorified God against hope. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. He glorified God against hope. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. The hope that he was talking about is the hope of the world. The world says that if you are 80, you cannot give birth to a child. Praise the name of Jesus. So the Bible says that um, he, he, he glorified God against hope. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. So biblical hope. Praise the name of Jesus. The hoping in the promises of God. Holding on to the promises of God. Taking God for his word. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Is how we use or it is a weapon that we use against worldly hope. Because worldly hope is an enemy of godly hope. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. People will come to you and tell you, no, this cannot happen. If you are 80, you cannot give birth. That is impossible. Hallelujah. They can even prove you medically. Praise the name of Jesus. That that cannot work. Hallelujah. You have suffered for long. Now this, um, you have suffered for long. And experience tells us. That whenever you suffer for such a long time, then there's no hope for you. Hallelujah. So we do not have to listen to such one. We do not we do not have to conform to the hope of this world. Hallelujah. The hope of this world relies on their experiences. Hallelujah. They rely on worldly um they, they rely on worldly wisdom. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. But the hope that I'm talking about is relying on God's word. What did God say? Hallelujah. What did God tell you? Now, of course, you might remain alone. Hallelujah. In such a situation, you can remain the only person who believes in what God gave to you. So what you have to do is hold on to the promise. Praise the name of Jesus. Whenever you hold on to the promise, hallelujah, it will birth that hope in you. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Now, for you to be in that hope, in that place of hope, then you must know whom to listen to. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. You do not have to open your ears to any person. Hallelujah. You do not have to let anyone speak over your life if you want to be in the place of hope. Because these are the things that kill the hope in you. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. You do not have to focus on what they say. Hallelujah. On the circumstances, praise the name of Jesus Christ. On the way they reason, praise the name of Jesus Christ. But stick on to the word of God. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Now the Bible says that the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut off. Praise the name of Jesus. The hope of the righteous is not going to be done away with. Hallelujah. So what does the Bible tell us? If you want to stay in hope, Stay in righteousness. Hallelujah. So that which you expect, your expectation, is not going to be done away with. You're expecting God to heal you. You're expecting God to do something major in your life. Then you stay in a place of righteousness. Praise the name of Jesus. That's why the Bible says, the expectation, the hope of the righteous shall not be cut off, but the expectation of the wicked shall be done away with. Praise the name of Jesus. So if you are in the place or if you're operating in wickedness, if you're operating in wicked deeds, then that which you're expecting shall not come to pass. And we do know the danger of that. The Bible says that hope deferred makes the heart sick. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hope deferred makes the heart sick. So if you are in a place of hope, if you're in a place of expectation, and that expectation is cut off, 
I tell you, you're going to be discouraged. And if you're discouraged, the Bible says it causes your heart to be sick. And when your heart to be your heart is sick, expect your body to be sick. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. That's why we should stay in the place of righteousness. Stay in the place of holiness. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. If you want to see your expectation coming to pass, hallelujah. Your expectation is that your children prosper. Hallelujah. That is a good expectation. Hallelujah. So stay in the place of righteousness. Stay in the place of holiness. Then you are going to see that expectation come to pass. Hallelujah. So that is what God has promised us. Hallelujah. So we must stay in the promises of God. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So we must look. Um, hope comes when we start looking with our inner eyes. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Our inner eyes are open or operate through faith. Praise the name of Jesus. So you cannot separate hope and faith. Praise the name of Jesus. You cannot or separate hope and faith. Because faith is the substance of those things which are hoped for. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. It is those things. It is something, um, it is an unseen reality. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. So whenever you are in that place, hallelujah, whenever you look at that unseen reality, that is what brings up hope in you. Hallelujah. You have to look at it. So faith depends on your eyes. Entirely, it depends on your eyes. Your eyes, I mean your focus. Your eyes, I mean your desires. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. If your desires are, are, are aligned to what God desires, then it brings hope in you. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. So those people whose desires are aligned with the, are aligned with the word of God, these are the people that shall bring forth the hope that I'm talking about. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. And how does that come? It comes only when you are one with God. When you are united with God. Now Jesus Christ prayed a very powerful prayer in John 17. He says that they may be one even as you and I are one. Praise the name of Jesus. So it only comes when we are in the place of unity. Hallelujah. When we are united with God. We are united with God when we fellowship with Him. Fellowship only comes when you speak. Hallelujah. So when, how should faith or how does hope come? Hope comes when you are in a position of hearing God. Hallelujah. So you must hunger to hear from God. So the voice of God must be your hunger, daily hunger. If you wake up today, you must hunger or you must long to hear the word of God because that is what will keep you moving. The word of God has power to birth hope in you. Praise the name of Jesus. So there must be a desire in you to always seek the voice of God, to always desire to hear the voice of God. Hallelujah. That what I'm talking about is on a daily basis. Because God desires to speak to his children. And whenever he speaks to his children, then it brings hope in them. And once that hope is birthed in them, then they are open to receive the things of God. Praise the name of Jesus. And that is God's desire that we receive the kingdom. That is what the Bible says. That it is your father's desire to give you the kingdom. You cannot operate or you cannot access the kingdom without hope. Praise the name of So we can see that hope is a very vital thing in the life of a child of God. Praise the name of Jesus. Now let us go um, to another scripture. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Now the Bible says in Romans chapter 5. I'm going to read from verse 1 so that we can understand what he's talking about. Hallelujah. And the Bible says in Romans chapter 5, it says, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand, and rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Praise the name of Jesus. He says, and rejoice in hope. So we can see that hope will only operate in your life 
if you rejoice, hallelujah, stay in the place of rejoicing. Paul says, rejoice and again I say rejoice. Now why should we rejoice? It's because it is what accompanies, hallelujah, it is an accompaniment, hallelujah, it is an accompaniment, it's something that feeds hope. Praise the name of Jesus. He says, we rejoice in hope. Praise the name of Jesus. So, once you are in that state of hope, hallelujah, whenever you rejoice in the, in the Lord, whenever you rejoice, hallelujah, in the things that God has done for you, it feeds your hope. And your, your hope will expand, hallelujah. It will increase, hallelujah. Whenever you stay in the place of rejoicing, so you do not have to stay in the place where you pity yourself. Hallelujah. Someone who pities themselves is disqualifying themselves from the hope that I'm talking about. Hallelujah. So you must encourage yourself. The Bible says, and David encouraged himself in the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. He encouraged himself in the Lord. So there are some times, there are those moments in life where you might not find anyone to encourage you. Praise the name of Jesus. Now these are those times where you have to use the anointing within you and speak to your life, prophesy to yourself. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. So once you prophesy to yourself, then it will bring up hope in you. Praise the name of Jesus. And how, that is how David came out of the situation that he found himself in. Praise the name of Jesus. They went out for war. And when they came back, all their families, all their wives, all their children were gone. Praise the name of Jesus. The Bible says that those who were with him, they were so creeped in their spirit that they wanted to stone him. Hallelujah. Now this is a situation where the people that are surrounding you, the people that are supposed to protect you, are attacking you. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know if you have been in such a situation where the people who are supposed to be encouraging you are now attacking you. Praise the name of Jesus. Now this is that place where you have to rejoice in the Lord. This is a place where you have to encourage yourself in the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. So whenever you rejoice, you are feeding that hope. Hallelujah. You are strengthening that hope. It will not die. Praise the name of Jesus. That hope will not die. Praise the name of Jesus. He says, and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only so, but with glory in tribulation also. Hallelujah. Knowing that tribulation works patience. And patience experience. And experience hope. So we can see that hope gives birth to hope. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Hope gives birth to hope. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Experience is knowing the will of God. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Experience is knowing the will of God. Being exercised. Hallelujah. Now some versions may call it experiment. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Experiment is something that you have done over and over again. Hallelujah. We do it in school. Hallelujah. You have done it. When you mix this chemical with this chemical, it will always bring red. Hallelujah. That is called experience. That is called experiment. Praise the name of Jesus. The Bible says it is experiment that brings hope. So once you have understood the will of God, hallelujah, once you, ex you have exercised and you have known that this is wrong, now this is right, hallelujah, it brings hope. So we can see, it brings now a notion of discernment. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. So whenever you come to that place where you have discerned the will of God, you are sure of the will of God. You have come to the place of assurance or of surety of the word of God or of the will of God. Then it will bring hope up in you. Hallelujah. It is going to stir up hope in you. And the Bible says, and hope makes not a shame. So hope and shame cannot mix. Hallelujah. If you are walking in shame, if you are experiencing shame in your life, now Paul is giving us how, is giving us a criteria of how to come out from that shame. Hallelujah. It means that you have to have experience. Hallelujah. Experience comes with knowing the will of God. Praise the name of Jesus. He says, and hope makes not a shame because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. So, that which, what should be in your heart is hope. When hope is in your heart, then it will bring out another hope. It will bring out rejoicing. Praise the name of Jesus. It will bring out thanking God. Thanksgiving will come 
out of a hopeful heart. So he is talking about a healthy heart. So you want your heart to be healthy, be in the place of hope. If you do not want to be in the place where the writer of Proverbs says it makes your heart sick. Now your heart needs to be healthy. It is hope in God that makes your heart healthy. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the name of Jesus. Now the Bible says that Jesus Christ is our hope. Praise the name of Jesus. Now the Bible calls him the hope of Israel. Hallelujah. He was the person whom Israel was expecting. Hallelujah. To deliver them from their enemies. So Jesus Christ is your hope. He is your hope. He should be your hope. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Look into his life. He experienced rejection. Are you experiencing rejection in life? Now look at Jesus Christ. He experienced the same thing. But the Bible says that he overcame. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. So once you focus your mind, you focus your attention on Jesus Christ, who is that hope, then it will give you strength. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. It is through hope that we are strengthened. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. So if I ask if you are feeling weak, hallelujah, then look to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. What you are going through, he also passed through. The Bible says that he was rejected. Hallelujah. Rejected of all men. Hallelujah. Rejected by his father before he was born. Praise the name of Jesus. Rejected by his brothers. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Rejected by his disciples. You can imagine such a rejection. But the Bible says that he overcame. Praise the name of Jesus. Now if you want to overcome, the Bible says that we overcome even through him. Because through him, who is our hope, Jesus Christ, then we can overcome. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Now allow me to go to the book of Hebrews. Hebrews says, uh, Hebrews 12. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. The Bible says, Hebrews 1, the Bible says, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Praise the name of Jesus. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself. Lest you be wearied and faint in your minds. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. So he tells us, when you're experiencing tribulation, focus on Jesus Christ. Let your mind be focused on Jesus Christ. Because once your mind is focused on Jesus Christ, every poison of the enemy, which is discouragement, every poison of the snake is going to be dissolved. Hallelujah. From your mind. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Now, that is what Moses did in the wilderness. He put... A brazen serpent, praise the name of Jesus. A brazen serpent somewhere on a tree, on a pole. Hallelujah. And whosoever looked unto that, and that is the only way they were healed. Only by looking unto it. They were not to do anything else. They were only to look unto that snake. Praise the name of Jesus. And the Bible said that the poison came out. Hallelujah. That arrow of discouragement that the enemy has shot against your heart. That the enemy has shot against your mind. Hallelujah. That the enemy has shot against your wall. It will only be dissolved once you focus on Jesus Christ. Praise the name of Jesus. So we must consider him. Hallelujah. That endured such contradiction. Once you consider him who endure, you shall also endure. Praise the name of Jesus. And through that hope, God will give you strength. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. God will give you strength. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. So hope is what we need as children of God. We need hope in life. Hallelujah. What is happening around us does not give us any hope. Hallelujah. Instead, it gives us hopelessness. It makes us feel defeated. Hallelujah. But the Bible says there is hope. The Bible is a book of hope. Praise the name of Jesus. That it shall not be the way it is. Hallelujah. It might be terrible right now in your life. It might be um, painful in your life. 
But the Bible says it shall not stay that way. Only focus upon Jesus Christ. Only focus. Stay on the promise. Remind yourself of what God said to you concerning the situation. Hallelujah. Maybe you're going through that lack, but remind yourself of the promises of God. The Bible says that you shall lend and never borrow. Hallelujah. Once you stay in that place, once you hold on to the promises of God, it is going to strengthen your mind. And once your mind is strengthened, then you're going to endure every temptation. And you're going to overcome. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. That's why we need to be in the place of hope. You should not give up. Now, the Bible, someone said that the last thing you should give up is hope. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. So you must hold on to that hope. Hallelujah. Hold on to the promise. Hold on to Jesus Christ. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hold on to him. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Now the Bible says that woe or cast is they that trust in men. Now what you trust in is your hope. Praise the name of Jesus. What you trust in is your hope. Now who is your trust? If you trust in something, then you cannot operate in the, in the dimensions of hope. Praise the name of Jesus. That's why the Bible says trust in God. Hallelujah. It is only through trust in God that we can access the blessings of God. That is what Jeremiah says. Hallelujah. That is what he says in Jeremiah, I believe, 17. Praise the name of Jesus. He said that blessed is he who trusts in the Lord, who hopes in the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Whose hope is the Lord. So once your hope is in the Lord, now you can access the blessings of God. And he says contrary. Now to anyone that trusts in man, do not look to man for your help. Your help comes from heaven. Your help comes from the Lord himself. Hallelujah. Now if your help comes from the Lord, it is only he who should trust. The Bible says that I will not trust in horses. I will not trust in chariots. Praise the name of Jesus. I will not trust in my knowledge. I will not trust in my bank account. I will not trust in my children. I will not trust in my family members. Hallelujah. Because once you trust in these people or you trust in men, then you disqualify yourself from godly hope. Praise the name of Jesus. And once you disqualify yourself from godly hope, then you have disqualified yourself from the blessings of God. So you need hope. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Someone say, I need hope. I need hope. I need hope. I need hope. Hope is very important. Praise the name of Jesus. Hope is very important. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Hope is very, very important to a child of God. So, that is what I would like to encourage us today. Hallelujah. Amen. We must dwell in the promises of God. Dwell in the promises of God. Remind yourself. Meditate. The Bible says that you shall meditate upon these things day and night. Hallelujah. So that you will be careful to do. Hallelujah. So that you will make your way prosperous. And then you shall have good success. Praise the name of Jesus. So if you want good success in your walk with God, then you have to be in the place of meditating upon the word of God. Remind yourself. Hallelujah. When tribulation comes, when those thoughts of defeat comes into your mind, to rob you of that hope which you have in Jesus Christ, remind yourself of the word of God. Hallelujah. Peter says that um, I would not fail or I would not be ignorant to remind you, praise the name of Jesus Christ, to always put you in remembrance, to stir up your mind. Hallelujah. So you need hope in your heart. Hallelujah. Talking about your mind and your heart. Hallelujah. That is where hope needs to be because that is where your eyes are. Now when your eyes are right, Hallelujah. When the light of God, when your eyes are open, then the light of revelation can come into you. And through that revelation, then God is going to take you out of that situation which you are going through. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. So I believe that word has blessed you. Praise the name of Jesus. Thank you so much. And may God bless you.